bang good or bang out of order that is the question just to be transparent then banggood have gifted us this tool today but we're under no obligation to give it an outstanding review we're not being paid to say anything and everything that we do say today will be our own thoughts on the tool so with that said let's get stuck into unboxing it right then so we're going to start off with the unboxing of the tool it took approximately two weeks to arrive from ordering so let's have a look see what you get inside we've already had a good look at this but we're just going to demonstrate to you how it came so it came in this box with some plastic packaging you get the user manual which is really clear and easy to understand even i can understand that being dyslexic you get this little pouch with some bits in there we'll have a look at them at them in a moment and then you get the router plane itself as you can see it's dusty because i've been using it and it all comes in this protected foam box which is really good uh, to keep it nice and safe and in the cardboard box so let's put that to one side so what do you get in the box then you get the shaft fence fence mount and screw you get the pointed blade half inch pointed blade with a sharpening jig two hex keys and two spare hex bolts be aware pointy things which you sharpen to 1000 grit are very sharp and they cut your skin yum yum Right then, so taking a closer look at the hand plane itself then, you've got two lovely walnut handles here, you've got this cast steel base, I don't know what the steel grade is, uh, it doesn't say anything in the manual and I can't testify to how, how long lasting the steel base will be. You've got this half inch cutter on the bottom with a hex key there to remove it and to replace it or to swap it onto the sharpening jig. Above that, you've got the depth gauge here. This tells you how deep you're going and you can manually set that with this nailed knob so you can adjust it for accuracy. I'll show you how you use that later on. On the top here, you've got the actual depth control. So you turn it one way to go deeper and the opposite way to go shallower. What I like about this is on the back here, you've got a nailed knob which, con which controls how stiff in a better word how stiff this is to turn so even when this is fully tightened so if i loosen it like so this turns easily yeah when you fully tighten this like so the depth will be set so it won't move when you're cutting through your material but if you want to make micro adjustments you can still turn it but very slightly so that's great for making micro adjustments. I love that about it. We're going to take you through some of the basics on how to use the hand plane now and how to set it up for its initial use. So looking in down at the router plane itself then, the blade is just off the surface. So what I want to do is I want to release the nail knob at the back so I can rotate the depth adjustment easily. And then I'm going to rotate it until the blade just touches the surface of the table. So I can feel that now just scraping on it. I'm just going to back it off a little bit. So now I'm just touching the surface of the table with a point of the blade. Now what I need to do is zero the depth gauge. So undoing the nailed knob here, I just release it and I'm just going to look down in at the hand plane itself here and I need to get these pointers here onto the zero mark. Might be difficult for you to see, but I'm sure you'll understand what I'm talking about, and then I move it along until I'm in line with the zero mark. Now I know if I make any adjustments on this and I move it a millimetre, half a millimetre, I'll be able to see it and correspond it to the depth gauge itself. Now we're all set up, ready to use the plane for its very first time. We'll get some timber and try it out. If you're in the lookout for a router plane, you probably already know the functions that the router plane can carry out. This instance here, we've cut ourselves a housing joint using the mitre saw, and then we're gonna clean it up using the router plane. Uh, I predominantly want to be using it for cleaning up housing joints and cleaning up half lap joints and tenons and things like that. I'm going to place the router plane onto the piece of timber that I'm cutting and this depth actually has a maximum cut of 38 millimetres and correct me if I'm wrong but I do believe the, the Veritas model has 13 or 14 millimetre depth so it's quite significant how deep this can actually go. So what I do is I've got the nailed knob again tightened up i can release that slightly so this is easier to turn as you can see i can rise it and lower it i'm going to rise it till it just touches the material lower it sorry till it just touches the material i'm going to tighten this on up at the back so now it's just micro turns that i'm going to be doing and then i can start i'm going to get a lovely cut straight away probably took a bit too much off there to be fair 
and I can use the gauge on the front here to test that and go into the correct depth. Lovely. Slicing through this tulip easily. Right, let's take a look how deep we've gone according to the gauge on the front and that's saying six millimeters on the router itself. Let's take a look with a combination square and just see if they collaborate the evidence with each other. And actually bang on six millimeters on both the combination square and on the router plane. So that's brilliant. So accuracy wise, that says that it's doing very well and the blade is cutting through lovely. Now, we did sharpen this blade and I'll take you through how we sharpen the blade now. Swiftly moving on then, let's take a look at sharpening. So we've got the blade here. You can simply remove that by undoing the hex bolt with a hex key provided, like so. Just make sure you don't cut yourself. They do say when this arrives that it's sharp and ready to use. But what we found is it was honed to the right bevel. However, it wasn't ultra sharp. So what we've done is we've just sharpened it ourselves, which literally took a couple of minutes because like I say, it was honed already. So now we attach it to the sharpening jig, which is just basically something so you can get a grip of it because it's a very small little fiddly blade. Use the hex key to tighten it up onto there. Like so. And then we, we went straight onto 1000 grit. Oh, sorry, 1200 grit actually, because it was already sharp. Use a bit of uh, three in one oil. And then all you're gonna do is find the bevel. There's no micro bevel. So just find that bevel, place it on, bring it down to it's flat on the surface. And then we did about 30 strops backwards and forwards on the blade itself. And I can see straight away there's metal fibers coming off there. Got a tiny little bevel on there already. So I'm just gonna do 10 backstrokes now. I've lost count. But that'll do. Feel that there. And then I'm just gonna remove that. Keeping it nice and flat. And then that's ready to use. So we'll test it on a piece of paper, see how sharp it is. I'd also want to get my lever strop on that, but I'm not going to do that today. Let's just test it straight away. Lovely. Nice and sharp. So instantly sharp after five minutes of using it. So it's, it's ground to a good angle. And then from there, you've just got to do your next level sharpening to whatever you like it to be. Uh, whether that's 1000 grit or 10,000 grit, ours is 1200 grit. So lovely sharp blade. Right then, moving on to price comparison. So now we're going to look at value for money, pricing and a price comparison. So first looking at how much this cost. If I just look over at my whiteboard there, I can see if Jacob moves out the way. This is £151.65 pence, and that's when that's what you're paying full price for this. There is a sale coming on from the 1st of September to the 10th, which is an anniversary Banggood sale. So I think you're gonna be able to get from up to 10 to 30% off items off the website. So it's worth checking out in that period. But full price, this is 151 pounds 65. Do I think it's worth that? Yes, and I'll tell you a few, a few of the reasons why. Looking at the, the tool itself, to me, it just looks quality all over. Uh, so I'm not just saying that, uh, so I can get free tools off Banggood because literally we've got everything we could we could ever need anyway in this workshop. I really do think it's a it's a good quality tool. Like I say, I don't know the grade of this steel, but for me, it's good quality. Everything about it is machined really nicely and it works as I'd expect and what I want it to do. Let's look at uh, its competitors then and have a look at the price, what they charge and what you get for your money and is it worth it in comparison to its competitors. So again, I need to look over at the whiteboard and the Veritas, which is basically, let's be honest, what this is a, a copy of. Uh, looking at the Veritas, 
on the Axminster website, it looks very similar. Uh, so I do believe that Banggood, as you get with a lot of the Chinese companies, are, are copying uh, or making things what are very similar in style and look to some of the competitors. So the, the Veritas then is £252.98. However, that doesn't come with the accessories such as this. Uh, so in total with the accessories on the Axminster website, you're looking at £29.68p for this. So with the whole kit that you get in here, you're looking at £282.66p. So grand total, that's £131 and one pence more than what you're paying for this. So in the sale, you could probably buy two of these for the price of that. Now I can't comparison. I can't give a direct comparison to the Veritas because I don't have one. So I can't say which is better in comparison. But you know, price-wise, if you're on a budget, this looks like the way you might want to go. Now, for years, I was for years I've been looking for a, a router plane on eBay, and I've been looking at the Stanley Stanley number seventy one. And uh, now the pricing bid starts again. I've got it over there written down. It's ninety pound ish at the starting price on eBay, uh, and then that generally goes up over six days. So you're looking at plus hundred pound to hundred and sixty pound, and then you you're looking at some of that might not have the accessories, and it might need some some maintenance and some repair work to get it up up to use. Now, you could find, if you're really lucky, if you go to a, a, a tool sale or a car boot or a garage sale, you might be able to find a Stanley number 71 on a bargain price if you're lucky, which some people have. But over the last year or so, I've not got one in the budget off eBay that I've wanted to and I've not found one. So that's why I've ended up with this. So I think overall value for money-wise, I think it's pretty good uh, for the quality of what it looks and in line with its competitors, I also think it's good. In summary then, uh, like I said, this was an initial review. It's not a how-to. I'm not an expert on how to use one of these router planes. It's the first one that we've ever had. Uh, and as I use it more, you'll see it popping up in my videos. And hopefully you'll get some more information on, on how good they are and how to use them and some little tips and things like that. Uh, but in summary, would I buy this with my own money? Yes, I would. I think it's a good quality tool. And like I say... Uh, Banggood have got a sale coming up uh, from the 1st of September to the 10th, so you might actually be able to get one of these for a right bargain price because it's £151.65p full price. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be in the sale, but by tomorrow, uh, 1st of September, you'll be able to have a look on there and see what these are going for. So yes, I would buy that with my own money, and that's our initial thoughts. So if you like that video, guys, please check out this video because I'm sure you'll like that one as well.